Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some of your time with me today. I so appreciate it. Well, today I'm doing another installment in my weekend makeup look series. And with it being officially the start of summer, with tomorrow being May 1st and the May bank holiday here in Ireland, I thought I would do a more summery, glowy, bronzy makeup look. Um, there it is there and I've used bronzy sparkly shadows. I've used a little hack that I saw was originally on TikTok and I have seen a few other YouTubers use it as well. It's a very very simple little hack. I didn't think it would work but it actually worked pretty well. I tweaked it. I had to tweak it a tiny little bit. So I hope you will enjoy this. If you haven't already, maybe you would think of hitting that subscribe button down there and the little notification bell beside it. And um, if you want to see how I've created this look, just keep watching. So I have already applied my skincare, I've let it set, and um, I'm gonna use um, the Sculpta by Amy Beauty Base in Golden Glow, which is perfect for this kind of glowy look. If you've watched me before, you'll know that the Pearl Beauty base has a different, um, just gives a different um, effect and this is definitely more glowy. Now I will fast forward through some of the, the stages just, um, just to save on time. But as you can see, this gives the skin a lovely glow and um, it has hyaluronic acid in it and it has SPF 25. For foundation, I'm using NARS Sheer Glow. I'm in the color Vienna. So I'm just going to dot it over my face. And this is a lovely hydrating foundation. Um, comfortable to wear, not drying. And I'm going to bounce it on with my Carter Beauty and um, Beauty Sponge. And I'll start in the center of my face and work out. This is a lovely sponge to use. It actually really doubles in size and um, it's very soft and it doesn't absorb too much product. I am going to do my brows. It's the MUA Brow Define pencil and I'm in the color dark brown. Again, I'll speed through this. So that's my brows done. Um, I am going to apply a little of my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Rose which is on my eyelids as a base for my shadows. For bronzer, I'm using my Bobbi Brown bronzer in Golden Light, a tapered brush just to warm up the skin and I want it to look nice and glowy. So I'm going to do that number three, the backwards number three. I'm, I want to kind of warm it up. So where the sun would normally hit, that's where you're going and don't forget to bring it a little down your neck. So build it up to just how glowy and bronzy you want it to look. For a nice pop of color and a nice glow, can't do better than NARS Orgasm, and mine is well used. I'm going to have to replace this. I'm going to um, use my Bobbi Brown blush brush and just pop it on the apples of my cheeks. This has a little bit of sheen in it, so it will give that little bit of glow as well. It's all about the glow. <laughs> a little tip that I always 
use, I get a nice big fluffy powder brush, blush, powder brush and I just go over the bronzer and the blush just to bring it all together and make sure I don't have any lines. Now I was saying that I'm going to try this new um, hack for, for eye shadows and blending. It's from TikTok. You know the little sponge applicators that you often get in eyeshadow palettes and that we usually just throw away. So I bought some in Superdrug um, the other day and the palette I'm using today is Carter Beauty. This is the Sweet Apricot Palette and I'm going to use the colours. This is Dolly Mix. This one is Marmalade and this one is Reese. And I will put a little bit of highlighter as well. Now, the hack is you get your little, I've just touched it there, you get your little sponge applicator and you put it into your shadow. And this is going on my inner eye, so you literally place it like that. Now, it looked easier when I saw it being done. It was literally a swipe. Maybe it would be easier to do the swipe on my other eye. You can see I'm literally just placing the color. Can you see that? Then I'm going to go into Marmalade, which is quite an orange shade. It looks quite scary. And then you Beside the other one, but not necessarily right joined up in it, you place that colour as well. Actually, it's nearly easier to do it in a downward motion. So I've got two stripes there and then I'm going to use a clean one and go into that brownie colour, which is called Reese. And I'm going to do a third swipe like so and it does look very scary I'm not doing it as well as it was done on the video I watched which I can't remember if I do I'll link it so there I have my three colors so I'm going to use this real techniques and what you do is you just pat it pat the shadows from the outs from the inside out I beg your pardon like so it's proving a little bit more stubborn there but they blend beautifully so I'm not actually rubbing I'm or swiping I'm patting now that brown is has set a little bit so I have to swipe a little bit there blend 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 but for the others maybe if I use a denser brush it's worked better on this side so I'm going to go back in with my little sponge applicator and do more in the center I'll go back with my bigger brush and just pat it Just going to top that up there with a little on my fluffy brush. I'm going to soften this a little bit with a new blender brush. This one here, which is called Sherbert. Back in with my brush slightly tapered brush back into the darker brown top off the excess and do go under the the eyelashes the bottom lashes and just bring the two together there I feel that this needs a little bit of a wing surprise surprise Supreme Gel Liner from Carter Beauty comes with the little brush in the lid. Super convenient. 
So I'm just going to line close to my top lashes. Can you see how thin that line is? And then I'll do the other. I'm going to just flick it out. I'm using my AU Coal Pencil eye pencil in, I think it's dark, uh, deep brown. So I'm just going to line my upper waterline. Now I'm not so happy with the blending of this the marmalade colour with Reese, so I'm just going to try with with my finger. Now I'm going to just curl my lashes and then I'm going to use my Catrice Iconista um, Volumizing Mascara. So that's two coats of the Iconista and you can see it really is volumizing. Now for lips I'm going to line with the Christian Audette uh, Nude Sandals. It's the Christian Audette with Lisa Lisa D1. For lipstick, Urban Decay in the colour Wild. I'm going to top it with Up Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Dubai. Fabulous lip gloss and another Irish company. So I'm going to conceal with my Carter Beauty Covert Concealer in the colour Shortbread. Pop that and I'm going to apply it with my finger. It's straight into where I get that darkness. So you can see the difference there between the two. So you can see that makes a huge difference. Now you can let that set and you can apply a little bit more. I'm going to use a Carter Beauty brush. I'm going to apply some e.l.f. under eye uh, setting powder. So just a little into the, the lid with the fluffy brush, which is a Carter Beauty brush. And then wrong side, just a little dusting. Just to keep that concealer in place. Sculpted by Amy, the Hydrate and Hold Setting Spray. So that is going to give hydration and help my makeup to settle a Carter Beauty Pencil Pusher Eyeliner in Nude and I'm going to just line my waterline on my bottom lid. It just helps to make the eyes look more awake and brighter. And the last touch is a little bit of highlighter and this is the Carter Beauty Get Lit. I think it's an ice a tiny little bit I'm going to put a touch on my brow bone the tip of my nose and on my cupid's bow I'm going to put <clears throat> fizz which is a kind of a shimmery champagne colour on the tip of my finger, pop it into the inner corner of my eye. Gives a lovely, lovely pop of brightness and colour. I am going to fix my hair and change my clothes and I'll be back in a minute. So I'm back and this is the finished look. Um, just to let you see the shadows there. Um, very simple blending technique which was um, a TikTok hack and um, I hope you like it it's a kind of a glowy 
um, bronzy look. Um, I know I'm very pale skinned, so <laughs> it's hard to achieve a very glowy bronzy look. Um, so I just changed my clothes, popped on um, my hoops and uh, fixed my hair a little bit. So I'll just stand up and let you see the outfit and my accessories. You can never go wrong with a pair of sunglasses and an oversized tote. So um, there's the just a cold shoulder blouse, dark wash jeans and I, I have gold colored Birkenstocks and then just an oversized tote and I'm all set for a sunny day. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, maybe you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell beside it. Um, that would really help me out. And I will talk to you all very soon in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.